You have to leave that mentality behind because people, they're not paying your bills. So who cares what they think if you don't show up at this gathering? Or come on in here for your weekly reading for the week of March 17th through March 23rd. I'm Tiffany. This is Wasted Traditions Tarot. Remember, I read intuitively, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. I've already blessed and shuffled my decks of cards. Let's see what spirit needs you to know. All right, Pisces. Harvest. Harvest. Gathering of blessings. Mm. Wheel of Fortune, Six of Wands, Pisces, Strength, oh my goodness, and Four of Pentacles. Oh, yes. All right. Harvest, Gathering of Blessings, Pisces. This is beautiful. Abundance is yours. Um, there is power available to you. Pisces, a lot of success is what I'm feeling, and very much so material wealth, Pisces, okay? This is beautiful. Um, there's action on your part that has to happen, right? You will accomplish so much. You are the master of your own soul, Pisces, okay? So, everyone loves the Wheel of Fortune, right? We all do. There's a change, a huge change coming for you, Pisces, with the harvest, the harvest that is ahead of you. This You're on top now. If it, it feels like I'm getting, there have been some difficulties um, previously in the recent past, but your turn and your time is coming with this Wheel of Fortune. We can see that, right? And then we have the Six of Wands. Absolute. Um, this is just beautiful. Six of Wands is absolutely beautiful because it is pointing to success yet again. Success with this Harvest card. I'm feeling success and abundance and power. Even material wealth. Just, just mastering, being the master of your soul, accomplishing all that you set out to do. And with the wheel of fortune, it's time to continue on, on your path, continue your path, work the plan that's in front of you. Because with the six of wands, by you doing what your soul has told you to do, Pisces, you come into a space of absolute harmony, right? You uh, you are healing on many different, different levels, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. All of these things is what I'm feeling for you with this Six of Wands, Pisces, right? Um, you are just awarded. The universe awards you the blessings and the desires of your heart, Pisces. And then we have the strength card showing up. You got a little bit of Leo in your reading, Pisces. With the strength card, just more abundance, definite power, courage, and compassion. Pisces, remember to be compassionate to yourself and to others as you're on this journey to level up your life, right? It's just, it's everything I'm looking at. It's, it's abundance and success and power and wealth and, and then compassion and courage. Then we have the Four of Pentacles. What I'm feeling, Pisces, is you are at the beginning of your financial journey. It's like you had to start over at some point. But Spirit is letting you know that it is worth it to recreate this foundation. You are in the process of becoming more stable, more secure. You, um, I feel like you're working very diligently at this, Pisces. I'm also feeling Spirit wants to remind you to be responsible with your funds. You're working really hard to get your funds up, to get your weight up, right? To get the bag up. Be responsible. Stick to the plan and don't get tempted and wide-eyed, right? Because sometimes we have to buckle down in order to get to where we want to go. We can't go everywhere. We can't do everything because we have a plan. And I can see and feel, Pisces, you are working on your plan. We have Six of Swords. Ace of Swords, wow, King of Pentacles, yes, 
and then the hermit. I just got finished saying you can't go everywhere. You can't do everything because you are working on your finances, Pisces. And what I'm feeling with the hermit card, you will have to take time of solitude. You will have to go back in the house. You're not outside during this process. It's not about being seen and going everywhere and being able to do everything everyone else is doing, Pisces. You have to leave that mentality behind because people, they're not paying your bills. So who cares what they think if you don't show up at this gathering or this party or at this happy hour or this event that costs money? Are they paying for everything for you? If they're paying for everything for you, Pisces, I say accept that generosity. But if you have to pay, you have to leave that that going everywhere doing everything, especially when it requires finances, you have to leave that behind. You have to move away from that. Stay in the house is what I'm feeling. Renew your thoughts on why you're doing this. Go back to your why. Why are you starting your journey again? Specifically the financial journey. Why? Remember your why right? Understand that you're at the beginning. This is a place that you're you're coming back into your independence, Pisces, because when you shore up that financial foundation, you come into King of Pentacles energy. Where else do you want to be? This is where I want to be, Pisces, right? That King of Pentacles energy <clears throat> is abundance. It's prosperity. It's generosity. It's being savvy with your coins, it's being savvy with your bag and continuing to grow your financial and material wealth, allowing you to drive the vehicle you want to drive, live in the home that you want to live in, or if you want to continue to be a renter so you can move around every few years, King of Pentacles energy is telling you, Pisces, you can do that as long as you stick to your foundation. Don't get sidetracked. Keep the blinders on who cares what other people are saying about you because it's time that you begin to harvest and gather your blessings. You are here. You are blessed. All that you've gone through, you're still standing. You are being rewarded by the universe because the universe conspires to see you win, Pisces. Get to it. You got this.